Percy was talking to James in the shed at the big station. My conductor was telling me how lonely he gets in his van. I think he ought to take some passengers sometimes. It might cheer him up. He's not allowed to do that, said James virtuously. It's against regulations. Conductors are important, and passengers might distract them so that they couldn't look after the train properly. Oh dear, said James. Yes, I, I suppose they might. <laughs> they can do it on the Midland, put in Gordon. Someone told me about it when I went to Carlisle with that special, but they don't do it on the other railway. It's on some preserved line where they haven't got any coaches. You see, James, said Percy triumphantly. Oh, well, if they haven't any coaches, that's different, James huffed. I'm sure Sir Topham Hatt wouldn't approve, though. Huh, replied Percy cheekily. Little you know. He puffed away to collect some trucks from the harbor. Meanwhile, on the branch line, some passengers got out of Henrietta at the station by the airfield. They all went through the ticket barrier, except for two, a man and a woman. Ah, said the ticket inspector when he looked at their tickets. You've come too far. You should have got out at the last station. The passengers looked at him, then they looked at each other, and shook their heads. The last station, the ticket inspector repeated slowly. You must go back there. There was a pause. Then the man said something to his wife in a language the ticket inspector didn't understand. He asked the porter to bring the station master. A short time later, Percy came chuntering happily along the branch line with his train of freight cars from the harbor. He saw the signal at the station by the airfield set at danger, and the station master waiting for him on the platform. Oh dear, there must have been an accident, he thought as he stopped. I hope no one's hurt. The station master came over with the two passengers. I'm giving the conductor these two passengers to travel in his van, he told Percy. They're foreigners who came too far on Toby's train by mistake. Will you stop at the station by the river and let them off, please? Percy was confused. Passengers? he asked when the conductor had taken them away. But this is a freight train. That's right, Percy, said the station master. They're going to travel with the conductor in his van. But... James says it's against reg... Uh, it's not allowed. The station master laughed. Oh, James is right, Percy. But I don't think James or Sir Topham Hatt would mind us helping two foreign visitors on our island who can't understand our language. Do you? That made it all right, of course. The guard saw that his visitors were as comfortable as he could make them in his van, and when, a few minutes later, they reached the station they wanted, they came to the front of the train to see Percy. They nodded and smiled and shook hands with the driver and fireman. Then the conductor showed them to a taxi, which was waiting to take them on the rest of their journey. A few weeks later, a parcel arrived with brightly colored foreign stamps on the wrapping. Inside were warm new scarves and gloves for Percy's driver, fireman, and conductor, and a letter addressed to Sir Topham Hatt saying how splendid his railway was. Percy was proud, but he didn't tell James. It might make him jealous, he said to himself, and that would never do!